So once that you are successfully logging into the art space, go to main menu. Later you can go to my events and it, you can create uh, any kind of a uh, space uh, even that you want to use. I'm going to customize this and change that to the name of the class or the event I want to host. Also for the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to uh, make this uh, unlisted and I'm going to uh, schedule the event to make that in a couple of days. In advanced options, we can uh, write here a kind of welcome message. We really need to be very sure about what we are uh, setting as information before we create the event because alt space don't let us to modify that later. And here we are, we can see exactly the message and we can uh, familiarize ourselves with the environment and have a look. This is like a theater and we have another screen there. But basically our audience is going to be here on the seats. We are going to create um, a screen. So we need to uh, check here in editor panel where we are going to well, see every, every of the objects. I'm going to get rid of this uh, TV because I don't need it. And we are going to check that we are not uh, having any kind of projector. So I'm going to add it. It's here on basics and it's the web project. Just when you click it, it's automatically adding to the screen. So it is a little confusing. It's already there. So we can see that it's, it's already there. It's very big. So we need to click on that and modify the properties like a scale and orientation sometimes. In this case, it's going to be mainly uh, a scale and uh, and also the, the the position of course in this case i'm cheating because i noted down before uh, the coordinates i want to use in this uh, for this panel you can also move the object digitally but sometimes it's not that easy you know, yes, you just need to click on the object and, uh, you know, uh, differentiate between the different parameters, uh, you know, for uh, turning the object around, uh, scaling and positioning. But if you know the numbers, that's that's easier. So here, for example, I'm going to be clicking on it and trying to drag it to the best position. Yeah, more or less like that. Now you can get closer to your screen and start connecting that to your web browser. It's important to remember as well to connect a streaming. Otherwise, your audience won't see anything. Remember that you have also to have installed the old BR space web extension. You need also to be logging and start streaming for example you can stream a youtube video or playing list in this case i'm going to stream a slideshow presentation if you are in a theater you would need to use the microphone if not the audience won't be able to listen to you you can also get familiar with all the tools like uh, messaging all the participants or even making your own selfies. Once your setup is done, we can enter in my events, check on the information, going to uh, share. 
now we can share this code with the rest of the class but remember this would be valid only for the moment we have scheduled the event and that's all you are ready for your class